What's going on, Stroke Fan? Welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's having a great day. If it's your first time tuning in, please go down below, hit the like button, subscribe button, and also turn on the notification bell if you haven't already. Guys, welcome back to the channel. We got a really a basic little video today. It's gonna be kind of like a vlog. Uh, got a few things I need to take care of, and a few things we need to start finishing or wrapping up. Uh, you guys, if you follow me on Instagram, you guys know we've been painting the mirrors on the uh, for the 350 in the last few days. So, gosh, I hope this camera, I might have messed this camera up with all the uh, paint. Hope it's not showing up like that on camera, but uh, yeah, we, if you follow me on Instagram, you guys know we've been painting the mirrors on the F350 for the last few days. Uh, so today I want to finish wrapping that up. We got like one more coat of clear that we need to put on them. Um, but before we do that, we need to go get some more propane because uh, it's pretty cold here and you guys know I don't have the shop insulated yet and um, painting in the cold is not good so I need to go get some more propane so we can heat up the shop a little bit. So uh, we're gonna go do that. Fill both of these bottles up. Um, I also, we need to pick up, I'm gonna show you guys a second. We need to pick up uh, something for the 350 as well. Uh, show you guys here. We got an error code yesterday. Um, I came to start the truck up. And uh, we got this error code. I'm gonna show you guys here. Got a tuner or whatever you guys want to call it. Alright, so start that login. Mm -mm -mm. Alright, so we're gonna go to vehicle functions. You probably can't see it, but read uh DTC codes. Probably gotta turn the truck on. All right, so vehicle functions, read DTC codes. And I don't know if you guys see it, but uh, P0675, yeah. Um, what that is is cylinder five glow plug So we need to go run to the parts store pick up a new glow plug if I remember correctly last time I did them on the uh, On the 250 I want to say they're like eight nine bucks something like that uh, Real inexpensive. So we're gonna go pick one of those up as well and change that out today um, It's in cylinder five bank five whatever you want uh, Bank two, cylinder five, I think that's how it goes. Um, but that's basically the passenger side, second to last cylinder on the passenger side. Uh, so I wanna say that was the same exact one that went out in the 250 that I had to change. If you guys um, are interested in how to change these, go check out that uh, video that I already made a video, how to change the uh, glow plugs on a 6.0. And I want to say it was the same exact um, glow plug. So you guys go check that out. If you want to know, I'm not going to video every step by step on how to do that. We're going to change it, try to change it real quick today and uh, get some other stuff done. But uh, give you guys a sneak peek at the mirrors. They're coming out pretty good. You guys stay tuned for the uh, that video. Should be coming out this week as well. Uh, we got a lot coming out this week. Um, I don't know if you guys paid attention, but uh, I made a post on my Instagram if we should get a, what kind of exhaust or what size exhaust we should get for the 350. Well, I'm gonna tell you guys, that should be showing up today uh, sometime along with some other parts. So um, that video should be coming this week. Um, yeah, just a few, a few good videos should be coming this week, guys. So you guys don't want to miss it, stay tuned. 
Speaking of the exhaust, um, it literally just got dropped off like two minutes ago. UPS just left. Uh, but yeah, we're about to get to running these errands and uh, I'll catch up with you guys um, as we, you know, knock things up. <laughs> Alright guys, so <clears throat> y'all basically just saw us um, tear everything apart on the passenger side to go ahead and pull out the glow plug. I didn't waste any time explaining exactly everything I was doing because I already have a video, like I said, of me doing this to the number 7 um, glow plug on the 250. So uh, what I like to do, I'm just going to explain what I like to do, is uh, pull out this fender well. It makes the job 10 times easier to do. Um, pull out this fender wells a few bolts pull it out um, I like to get up under here and let me see if I can get some light for you guys But as you can see you get at you got access to all of your glow plugs. That's number seven five, which is the one we just took out three and one They're all right here accessible. You can stick your hand in there and get to them a lot of people, uh, I see a lot of people have videos of them coming from the top of the truck. To me, this is so much harder. You're, you gotta pet, like, get by everything, you know, put, move stuff to the side, and such and such. Um, I think it's way easier just to pull out those extra bolts from that fender liner and go get at it that way. But, I mean, do it however you wanna do it. This is my second time doing it, and we got, we already got the plug out, and about to go back in with the new one so i want to show you guys the uh the new versus the old uh this one i'm about to test it i'm pretty sure it is this is the problem the glow plug because uh when i pulled the one out of the 250 that time it looked pretty much exactly like this burnt looking and uh so um hopefully that is our problem and not the harness we don't have to replace the harness um, I did accidentally, uh, I'm not sure if I broke it, but uh, we're going to see, but you can see right here, I kind of, on the glow plug connector, I kind of split the head from the uh, wire that actually goes into it. The wire is still in there, but I, the plastic around it kind of broke, and that, that happens. Uh, that plastic gets real brittle being around that heat all the time like that so that does happen it's not the end of the world you just have to get another harness if you broke the wire I'm not sure if I broke the wire so um, what I'm gonna do is put everything back together um, put the new glow plug in there uh, test it out make sure it is not the wire if it is the wire we're gonna go to the auto parts store and grab a new harness hopefully they got one in stock and uh, throw it in while we got the fender wheel off but uh, I was looking at it, it doesn't look super hard to run a new um, harness if, if that is our issue. But uh, yeah, I'm about to show you guys how you, how you test these uh, glow plugs. And uh, after that, we're gonna go ahead, throw it back in, button the truck up, and that'll be a wrap. So how you wanna test and see if the glow plug is bad, good or bad, um, you wanna get you a multimeter, turn it to ohms, um, and I put it I only put mine on 20,000 ohms. Anything below that will work um, because you're gonna only get like a resistance of 13 at the most, I wanna say. Uh, but I'll show you here. We'll try the old one first and then the new one. I don't know if y'all be able to see. Should be able to see if something changed from there. But you want to put your positive on the positive side and then your negative on the internal probe side. And you'll see we're not reading anything. Kind of hard to hold on. Let me see. Move this back. Till I get up, time is barely on our side. 
So now everything's put back together. Plug is in, harness is reconnected. Um, go over and check, make sure uh, our code doesn't pop up anymore and make sure that fixed the problem. So what you wanna do? I'm gonna turn the key. Grab our SCT, wake it up. Gonna go to vehicle functions like before. And read DTC codes. And there you go. Fixed our problem. It'll focus. No codes found. So that's what we want to see. Give it a start up real quick. Seems good. That seems like it was a problem. So uh, let's check in the line. Looks good. So, uh, yeah, guys, I mean, it's real simple if you take your time and uh, just pull out the fender liners, pull everything out like that. It makes it so much easier uh, if you're doing this job. Um, but, I mean, everybody's going to do it their own way. So, uh, so but that's going to be the end of this video, guys. I'm going to throw the truck back together and actually start on trying to make another video for you guys because we got the exhaust over there. Um, we finished the the um, tow mirrors and the cab lights and everything so we're gonna be doing that those two videos for sure so uh, i don't know which one i'm about to do next probably the mirrors because that'd be a little easier i'm probably gonna need like a full day time to throw that exhaust in but i may actually do that next because i got the fender liner off and i can get that to that downpipe pretty easy so i'm not sure which one which direction i'm about to go but uh just know we're about to do one of them and next video is coming right after so hope you guys enjoyed this little vlog type of install repair video whatever you want to call it but uh yeah guys stay tuned because we got so much more on the way uh wait till i'm i was uh i almost ordered the lift kit for this truck uh for black friday i almost ordered it i was this close to ordering it, but um, i'm gonna wait a little longer so but that is coming lift is coming wheels are coming uh tires everything we about to that truck will probably get more of its stuff done before we get the 250 done um but i have gotten the the lift kit for that truck ordered it is ordered finally uh if you guys want to know what's been going on with that um i'll make a video for that if you guys are interested um but the lift kit has been placed uh it's gonna be a few weeks because they're backed up like everybody else and uh but we should have it by the beginning of the year Fingers crossed, the wheels will be showing up. We're probably two weeks away, if not less. Um, I'm not gonna put a time frame on it because I'll be getting you guys excited and I'll be getting myself hyped up as well. So I'm not even gonna try to put a timeline on it. We should be getting the wheels soon. They're gonna be sick. So uh, yeah, guys, we got a lot coming. So you guys definitely go down below, hit that like, subscribe button, and also turn on the notification button if you haven't already. I hope you guys enjoyed and have a great night. Peace.